Okay, part-time mowing man. He's not doing any mowing this evening. It's raining like crazy. They even let school out today for the kids. Some sort of tropical storm. Since the power has been going on and off, I decided we needed a battery backup around here to prepare for hurricanes. Simple setup here. This is a small AGM battery with um, sealed acid, lead acid. And I've got a little solar controller hooked up to a 20 watt solar panel. This whole setup you can probably buy for under $100. And so I can do a lot of stuff. I've got some little 12 volt DC ports. So this is a little USB. I plug that guy in there and I can charge up my phones or anything that's a USB device. Well, I bought this battery. It's uh, 18 amp hours. So not a whole lot, but better than nothing. And then there's a solar charge controller on it and it shows 12.6 volts, so kind of low. I haven't charged it yet. And then I hooked up some DC ports. Here I've got a camper lighter. You can buy these on Amazon, a camper light, and mount it to the wall somewhere. And these put out a lot of white light. So that's pretty handy. Now here's a little 400 watt inverter for a car. It had alligator clamps, but I cut them off and put a DC plug. Now you can hear it humming away. Now I've got AC power. I can run my laptop uh, or charge my laptop up. Of course, I also need some way to charge this thing. So I haven't bought a wall charger yet, but what I do have is a little 20 watt solar panel. You can pick these up on Amazon for cheap and just sit it out in the sun, which is hard to do right now because there's a hurricane going on. And you can see in the picture there, it shows the solar panel now is receiving energy. Okay, so this is another little contraption which you need for emergencies. And I have used this for years and it works wonderfully. A's and triple A's, is it allow change the current? Charge it slow, charge it. So when I was living in Haiti, I had little solar setups like this, and um, they were a lifesaver. And you know, there in Haiti, oftentimes the power is out more than it's on. In fact, one summer I, I didn't have any power for the whole summer where I was at, and I just had a little one battery. It was a bigger battery than this, and um, I had I think 100 watts of solar power, and that that ran a fan and charged my laptop and my phones and everything for the whole summer. It was really a great deal. So I recommend having some sort of little backup. Even this is just a 20 watt setup with a small battery, but being able to charge your phone and electronics and stuff, that makes a difference um, in morale, if nothing else, when the power goes out. So hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than my usual ones. There's not a lot of mowing going right now with all the rain, uh, but I've been mowing a lot, still have over 20 yards, and I appreciate all the comments you guys have been putting on my videos. So thanks for watching.